let's talk about COA. COA, the Council on Affordable Housing. My gosh, who could be opposed to affordable housing? I wish I had it myself. COA is the intellectual godchild of the Supreme Court's, and I say the Supreme Court, I'm referring to the New Jersey Supreme Court, the Supreme Court's decision in Mount Laurel. And basically what Mount Laurel stands for in, it, in its case law progeny is the idea that every place in New Jersey has to have its rateable share of housing so that people can live wherever they want to live in New Jersey. They can't just live in one city or another. They have to be able to live anywhere. Um, I have, to begin with, substantial problems with the Supreme Court making policy. And I'm going to come back to this in spades, believe me. The reason I have problems with the Supreme Court making policy is they're not elected. This is a democratic republic. Only elected officials get to make policy. Be they mayors, be they county freeholders or county commissioners to those who are not from New Jersey, or be they legislators or a governor. Why? Why do you think we have it? The answer is simple. It's because we're politically accountable for what we do. If we blunder, the people of New Jersey can very readily send a message to us that we should change our mind. If we blunder enough, or often enough, they replace us. It's a glorious thing. Elections are revolutions without the bloodshed. And so that's a wonderful thing that breaks down completely when you have courts making those kinds of decisions. Also, I mean, when you think about the nature of courts, it's worth noting that courts are not what I would call a broad slice of the American public. And they're certainly not a broad slice of the New Jersey public. Courts are populated in this state exclusively by lawyers. And I can plead guilty because I've been one for the better part of 40 years. There are approximately 80,000 lawyers in New Jersey, and there are about 8 million people, 8 or 9 million. So you're talking about basically 1 in 100. And these people have arrogated to themselves the right to make policy decisions for the people of New Jersey. And it's wrong. And it's wrong for a whole host of reasons. And you know what amazes me? These people, more than any other, are educated and aware of our constitutional system and its division and separation of powers. They should be sensitive, above all, to the importance of an independent judiciary that does not engage in politics. And yet, that's exactly what has happened in New Jersey. Within four years, we can convert the majority of the Supreme Court. I will still respect the tradition that says that a court should be bipartisan. In other words, no more than, I think it's three members or whatever, come from a particular party. And that was intended to make sure we had a non-political court. But in fact, our court has broken down and has become a highly political court. Why am I doing that? I'm doing that because I want to revisit the COA issue. And I want to see the Mount Laurel decision and the Abbott decision overturned by the court itself. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you cut the Gordian knot. Change the court, and you change New Jersey. It's the shortest distance from point A to point B is a new court. Totally constitutional, totally proper. And actually, we're talking about a very conservative, and I use that with a small c, revolution here. We're talking about turning our system back to a system where housing issues will be decided by the legislature. What a concept. Elected officials don't like their decisions, fire them. Don't like the governor's decision, fire him. That's the way to do it. It's the most important decision that the governor of New Jersey will get to make next year. What does this all mean? Well, it means we've got to change the system. And I'm not talking Barack Obama change. I'm talking about specific mechanical changes. I'm talking about things I will do as governor, as the 
opportunity presents itself. One affects COA, one affects school funding. They're both aimed at the Supreme Court. As I said, change the court and you change New Jersey. You kick the decisions back to elected officials and at least then we can begin to work on the problem. It doesn't mean that we won't have a policy on affordable housing. We will still have a policy on affordable housing. Of course we want to encourage affordable housing. But central planning ain't going to cut it. And you know what? I am tired of having a system mandated by the Supreme Court on education that says 80% of our kids get underfunded in public schools so that 20% can get 63% of the money. That's just plain wrong. And the legislature can work this out. The legislature does not need dictates from the Supreme Court. By the way, I'll just throw in as one other line. I happen to think the legislature is twice as large as it needs to be. It would be a stronger body were it a smaller body. And it used to be half the size. Back to the future might actually serve us pretty well. Well, I've wandered all over the lot. I've talked about COA. And I've told you what, frankly, the election of 2009 is about. And now I'm ready to go to the question and answer session. But one last comment I will make. Folks, 2009 is the year of decision for New Jersey.